Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. Uh -huh. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. Sure. Right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Well, you just keep your cool, you hear Yeah, me? exactly. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Easy. Come on, Sean. Let's go. Hey, how far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Jesus. Not far from the state line. Alright. That's very far away. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Uh-huh. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. Makes sense. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times you have to tell me? Well, Look, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies, and the like. Yeah. The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scope this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I, I ain't mean, just some dumb kid. You I've are. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. You saw me in action on those tobacco fields. That worked out all right. I guess you could say that. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up. Beat me, pull teeth, burn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Eh. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. It, you it's not his fault, it's Micah's into. fault. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Hard left coming up. Okay. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Okay. Oh, 
Hello. This this is gonna be pretty, is it? Let's leave the horses here and go to rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, or you deal with them. Let's make Sure. Sure, we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Mm hmm. I don't think he does. You know, I've been here before. Is that a problem? No, just didn't realize you meant this place. I have been here before? Oh, was it one of those places I came to collect money? Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. That's a that seems like a bad idea. Did not did not mean to bring my shotgun. Yep, there he is. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big party along and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up back Jesus up. fucking up Christ, Sean. Watch it. This was not the plan. Leave one of them alive, right? I don't know how that's gonna work. Come here, yep. put your hands up! Nice and easy! You saw what we did to your pals here! Yep. Okay. Tell us where you stash your money, and we'll let you live. Yep. Well, all right. That's all right. Take it. it easy. Behind the the wall in the bedrooms. If you stick your hand between the gaff. All right. You go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. We'll just have a look around. I mean, thing is, I can always kill them afterwards. Sean. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. Sure. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? That's a gun. Is there a gun inside? Told you we take them no the problem, cheese. didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Hook this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind I the heard him, yeah. in the bedroom. Give me a second. Yeah. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hello. Cigarette cards. Hey. Yeah. It's over there. Right. 
This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Sure. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. I'm sure there are. Hey, Charles. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Yep. Yeah. Mount up then. Let's go. Let's go. You know, it was before my time, of course, but... My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. Mm -hmm. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, yep. tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. Sure. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. Shit. It's pretty sad. So, where are we headed? Back up to the heartlands. Okay. Okay. Non, pas mal. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Do you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, sure. I'm by me. I kind of want to know what's what's happened, Charles. You okay? Alright, baby. Hey. Come on, Charles. I'm sure, we can move faster than this. No? This is a beautiful game, though. You're the, you're the weird one, not me. We're not in the bison region. I've, I've come across a few bison, but it wasn't here.
Still silence? Okay. Not far now. Let's cut up this way. Yep. They hang around the Great Plains. Over there, you see them all? Incredible, aren't they? Yep. We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Sure. Okay. Clean as you can. Okay. Wait. Yep. What are you doing? Come for me. American bass, American bass. Easy. Well, some of them show stars and some of them don't. But they all show stars. I actually can't tell. I thought there were. No, that's a wild tip. That's what I saw then. Yep. Well done. It doesn't have stars. All right. Which is, in, which is interesting. Take the horns too. It can all be used. Oh, it's a female. Good job. Stow that on your horse and They're mostly I skin. Go check something out. No okay. care. Sure. Let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, that's. Is that all bison? What the hell did this? What the hell did this? Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Sure. All right. Lead the way. I've been dead a couple of days at least. Let's go, Charles. <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave Three? them here to rot no. like that. Three in the same place? Never. What are we, what are we about to find? Another dead bison to our left there. Come on. Shit. And the, there's a camp right there. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. 
It's going to turn ugly. This is going to turn ugly. I can tell you right now. What in the hell? Is there anything of interest Did you here? Find anything, Arthur? Huh. Bugs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. I mean, it's still burning, the actually. Of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Sure. Let's go. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's check it Let's out. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Yep. Yeah. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Dude. Come on. Yeah. It's best to just follow Charles. He knows where he's going. More dead bison. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Well, he's angry. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools? Yeah, shoot you're not those hunters. Bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? <laughs> it's not business of mine. Good God, you're crazy. I got a family. A family. So? Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. We just God said you killed them. You're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. Indians oh, never do that. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. Uh, I've heard yeah. enough. Damn right. That's what he deserved. Who's I paying them, this. though? I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Probably nothing, nothing special. What's this what's this box though? There's nothing. There's another bison belt, but I already have that. Hello. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisher. Sure. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. I'm always up to learning. All right then. More Grab shit. Grab your horse and let's go. Sure. Hey, boy. 
Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. I'm following you, but you need to move faster. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're True. all fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. Hmm. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. We're going into the water? Okay. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. That's not very far away. That works for me. What? Why just slow down? It's just here? It's on the other side? Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Sure. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Me there, huh? Yeah. What the fuck you doing? Do I need to do anything? He did he did say worms or crickets. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not in the I'm not in the right place. Okay. What the fuck is your problem? Yes. I'm already using the bait. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. Okay. I hate to break it to you. But I ain't sure Karen Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast, you could break the line. I'm so bad at this. Uh huh. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Yeah, that's kind of shitty. Okay. Okay. Now see if you can hook another.
farm. Are you giving up on me already? Nope. Is this so, dumb? You think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. Uh -huh. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody hey, who needs to go to confess. Watch the line. Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you. What's there. up? Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? Yeah, clearly. What the fuck is your problem? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Okay. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Sure. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Well, take care. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up. Don't tell me you changed your mind. No, no, no. Let's go. Going, Kieran. God damn it. Arthur, what the fuck? Of course, are you okay, Alfredo? Alfredo, you okay? Everything's okay. Yeah. You all right, boy? Time to go, Poor boy. thing. I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. I think about. so. Yeah, there's some big ones here. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. Can't, can't quite see the fish. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? You won't catch much if you don't cast a line. I know. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to college. Mm -hmm. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I really don't, don't feel know. like much of a fighter. I can still really mend though. Come here, fucker. Come on. What is nope, it? Not the big one. 
Let's keep trying. Shit. Throw back. More bread. There's a fucking snake there too. See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got to just safe take care of the Odriscolls. Why, why can't we do that? Sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. You got it! That has got to be the one, right? No, it don't feel very big to me. Did I catch the same tiny fish again? No, that's not it. Uh, I, had to, I had to catch another bluegill anyway. More bread. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, Javier. You Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fell I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish for you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Okay. I'm glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Hey, boy. Okay, follow me. Sure. Let's go. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. We rode out just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, <laughs> already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? It's been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. Really? This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. Yeah. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And sure. Dutch, you, you don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? Yeah. You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. What do you do with the girl on the ferry? I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, huh? Maybe you're right. Is that directed at me? Damn, despacio. We'll God cut damn it. to the right here. Yeah. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout you mean the Lanahatchee river no 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 the, the Lanahatchee it runs right near here yeah but it's pronounced Lanahatchee why is everything in english said differently than it's written mm -hmm. make us feel stupid it's also oh, not yeah, an english word wrong feather. pretty sure it's not a la uh, an english word okay it's just down the hill here Espacio. Mm -hmm. 
we hit we hitch in here. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. This little stream? Are you sure? Pretty country. Yeah. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. Yeah, this deer is not helping. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Yep. What kind of bait should I be using? Yep. Uh-huh. Let's see what comes up. Time of day really can make a difference. Sure. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. We're lucky we got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Maybe. I'm using some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Yeah, fish you're impatient. Especially compared with you and Jose. You have a temper. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Okay. Medium-sized river fish. I was thinking you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day. Jesus. Down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Tom O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Makes sense. Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. So now, here we are. I heard people talk about huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. You got one. Yeah. You also got one. Don't rush it, Arthur. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. He's small, but might make a nice meal. I'ma keep it though. Keep. Oh, keeping you. 
Beautiful. Quick. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? Sure. That's fine with me. Sounds good. Okay, let's try for another. Another one. Pull to the left as he goes right. Another one. Okay. That Not was good. Bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh, yeah? You keep trying for these bastards. I'll join you. I'll come. Okay, let's go. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. Nothing that serious fella like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'll be getting rich. Not killed. Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. Oof. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. <laughs> I've seen you fight, little fella. Yeah. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. So don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. Where's, where's Mary Beth? Ah, okay. Alright, follow me. Side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Okay. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots, let them know we mean business. Then right. move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Huh. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you had to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? Mm -hmm. I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. Jesus. All right. Very funny. Savage. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can blink, believe me. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. First time we laid eyes on her. She was being chased by three real angry looking fellers. And we thought, oh, that poor young Jesus. girl getting picked on like that. Okay, buddy. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Mm. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? 
Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I brought you both in on. Come down. All right. Just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. I want a rifle with a scope. If you got one. I mean, almost all my rifles have scopes, but. We'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, man. Is that a long scope? He ain't blind. Come on, you yeah, two. it is a long scope. This is gonna be fun. Sean, this better this better go All right, well. Arthur. Me and you could take cover behind that log over there. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right, then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Dude, she knows more about this than you. Do you not get that? Okay. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them like, and then we move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. M motherfucker, you you're, say so. you're gonna get us killed. They have an escort, though. That's not good. Sean. Thank you. Shit. Hey, what's the trouble here, miss? Sean. Thank God. I seem to have got myself all spun around out here. Just looking. Sean. Are you gonna do it? You must think I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? This is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Fuck. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can oh, make an exception. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna run. Thought you were just gonna threaten them. Better not have we killed my horse. This later. I'm gonna bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. They wouldn't keep the money outside, though. Take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Hold it. We'll split it up. How's she later. doing? You better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute and then make off with all the money. What the fuck are you talking about? Split up and me back at camp. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Time to hang around. All right. Get the fuck out of here, Sean. I'll see you boys later. 
Bye.